We're going to look at how to configure your audio and video devices in Teams. Some of you may be asking, I don't have Teams, I use Skype for business. And that will be true until 2021, when Skype will then be retired. All new Office 365 tenants will be deployed with Teams. You'll find Teams much easier to troubleshoot than Skype for business. The first thing you'll want to do is check to see if there's any updates for your desktop client. To do so, select you and then check for updates. You'll notice a pop-up. We will check and install any updates while you continue to work. If there is an update, we'll be notified. To review and modify your audio and video setup, you'll once again pop up to you. And then select settings, followed by devices. My system does not have either a mic or a camera, but you would select the appropriate audio device that you need to use, as well as the speaker, a microphone and a camera. After you've configured these devices, you'll want to make a test call. This is when you record your message, and as you can tell, I do not have a microphone there. As I do not have a microphone attached to this system, we can see our error messages. Microphone is not found or it is muted. And the camera is not found. But the speaker and network are both connected. If you have speakers, a mic, and a camera attached to your system, but Teams is unable to use those devices, you'll want to reach out to your IT help desk for additional support. Before I wrap this lesson up and before you reach out to IT help desk, if you're using a headset, with controls on the headset, Double check to see that you haven't accidentally muted yourself. If people can't hear you, I can't tell you the number of times I've done that. If any of your devices use batteries, make sure that those batteries are fresh or that the device is charged if it's USB. Again, speaking from experience, for the most part, Teams is incredibly easy to set up and configure, and you probably won't have to make adjustments to these settings that often.